difference? FirstNet. Um, so basically now FirstNet, I've, I've been working with them for, for quite some time and uh, in November picked up the chief architect role within Intel Security Group to actually try to uh, you know, bring it home as the as far as what the solution is oh, to wow. this. Oh wow, the FirstNet program itself. Yes, yes sir. I so think the RFP's out now. Too, yes, sir, so it is. Uh, so Band 14, um, basically, that is first responder focused. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing about it is, is that um, it's not a business as usual network. Right. Uh, it's got a lot of interesting aspects to it. But going back to what. Uh, Dave said over here that uh, it's about availability first, you right. know, so when you look at confidentiality, integrity and availability, oftentimes we kind of get stuck on that confidentiality thing. But if you don't enable the tip of the spear, you know, you can't, you know, I can't have a, a first responder somewhere in EMT saying, you know, can you hear me now? Right. You know, that, that's, that's not a model that <laughs> works in that environment. So um, <laughs> I think the interesting thing about that, to, to mention the wearables, mm -hmm. the sensor aspect of that, it's an amazing amount of information. And, and to use that big data capability to down-select and to make people's lives better, that is an the amazing right capability. I think FirstNet has the opportunity, not just here in, in this nation, but actually globally, to mm -hmm. be able to, because uh, it's, it's a global program as well that's being enacted right. by uh, South Korea, not North Korea, South Korea and some others sure. as well. I think there, there's a huge difference that it can make. Sure.